Well, howdy there, guys. Welcome back to Stewie MTG as we crack open the Pain Bow from Dominary uh, United, the five color commanders uh, with a Jared on the front there. There's been a million video openings of these, but since I figured I was opening this up for me, I might as well record it and put it on my channel. Cardboard junk go away. And I still do not understand what in the world this is. Uh, can someone please explain the necessity of this junk? Normally I like to get the limited um, packaging ones of these where it's just basically the deck box in a in another smaller box but um, didn't have that option this time. These were at my L, uh, local card store and once again the box it already comes messed up. The glue on this is so cheap. I just literally gave like 20 of these to my LGS uh, to hand out to new players and that. With that, let's take out. I mean, I do like these boxes. I mean, they're fine. If you can put a little tape or glue on them, if you're, you know, beginner player, but man, a lot better than maybe some of the boxes that you gave us before. Spacer, great for my bulk boxes. Uh, spin down. Little booklet. Information on Dominaria United. Oh no, this is actually the uh, Colest Collector Booster Sample. Uh, there's, I believe, two cards or three cards in this. So let's crack that open because that's going to be the, the difference between this and many other packs. I don't I wonder how really random this uh, collector, sample collector pack is. But let's see, we've got an ad for a secret lair. And look at that, Burrow Worm Speaker. Um, I wanted him for a deck. And then we've got Rolik Mons, Warden Chief. Uh, oh, might have to build green red goblins. But I actually wanted Baru for my my Worms deck, so that's a, an extra big bonus for me. I'm gonna have to take him off of my uh, cards cards needed. Uh, wow, I'm I'm happy with that. You guys will notice over here I'm already partially into the new five color deck, um, in which Jared uh, will uh, probably not be the commander. But with that, let's crack this open. How are you guys liking Dominary United? Um, so far, I am really enjoying it. Uh, it's been nice to, to come back to Dominaria. Let me adjust it up here a little bit. Alrighty. So we have the commander. I'm not going to read all of the cards. Um, just some of the ones that I'm interested in. Let me see if I can zoom in here on my on my phone uh, no oh, you're stuck with this for you guys and then we also have well who wants to fit in there I know Brian over here for the common game has a similar problem getting the cards to want to go in got Jared Carthelian Got ourselves a bad river. I'm glad that they have finally decided um, to include the old slow fetches. I use them. Um, I sold all of my fetches a number of years ago. The power level in which I play at my kitchen table is between a, a five to an eight. So slow fetches are just fine by me. With that, we also have a Abzan Charm, Arcane Sanctum, excellent. I like those trial lands, fine by me. Got some removal with Beast Within. Got a Crumbling Necropolis with new art. Explosive Veggies, Fellower Stone. Another Slow Fetch with Floodplain. Frontier Bivouac, Fusion Elemental. Uh, I remember the first time I saw Fusion Elemental, I going nuts. Um, 
a five mana eight eight, but then I realize it has no evasion. It's got no trample. Um, and now you know we could get an an, an a eight for for three mana with trample or, or some other keyword. We got ourselves a grasslands, a jungle shrine, a Croson verge. Hey, right, basically. Um, I think they were taking lessons about how I make a five-color mana base. Uh, Migration Path. Mountain Valley. Mystic Monastery. Naya Charm. Nomad Outpost. Opulent Palace. Path to Exile. Great reprint. Love it. Hey, Path to the World Tree. You know what's funny is I just picked up a Path to the World Tree. There it is. Uh, from my LGS. Um, I guess I didn't quite really need it. Rocky Tar Pit. Sand Step Citadel. Savage Lands. Wow, I think there's just about every tapped tri land in this deck. Seaside Citadel. Sultai Charm. Sylvan Reclamation. Trans Guild Courier. Some of these are not, I'm not going to be adding into my five color tribal deck. Um, yes, it's all colors, but that slot could be used for something else. I am excited about this two-headed Hellkite. Um, debating on whether of keeping it in this five-color tribal or putting it in my Ur-Dragon deck. Tiller Engine, a card that is going to be high in demand. I'm probably going to end up selling this or trading it to get cards I need for my many other decks. Unite the Coalition. Palaji Wayfarer, Iridium Maelstrom, Mana Cannons, another card that's going to be in demand, Primeval Spawn, and yes, I am going to play this in my five color tribal deck just because it's going to be fun. I actually like the Obsidian Obelisk. I don't mind that it comes into play tapped, and uh, in a five color tribal deck, um, in most of my cards are going to be multicolored. It's going to work just as good um, as a, of course, uh, an arcade signet for me in in this upcoming deck. Arcalos, we've got uh, our Ninja Turtle here. Bales full Strix, love the card, not going in the deck, but we got ourselves a Canopy Vista, fetchable, Cascading Cataracts. Cinder Glade. So I notice here they're going with the the fetchable um, lands that you could go get with like an Untamed Wilds um, in the deck. Great idea. Coalition Relic, not my favorite. Crystal Quarry, like it. Dune Blast. Exotic Orchard. Fate Burrow Elder. It's funny as I was looking all through my uh, cards for Fae Burrow Elder, and I thought I had an extra one. But swore I had one somewhere to put in this stack for the five color travel, and hey, they gave me one. Here of Precinct One. Knight of New Alara. Lava Lanch. Merciless Eviction, always nice to see. Murmuring Bosk. Um, that is gonna be going into my Tree Folk deck, sorry. Painful Truths, Prairie Stream, Radiant Flames, Silvala, Smoldering Marsh, Solemn, uh, Sad Robot, Solemn Simulacrum, Sunken Hollow. Wow! It looks like they're giving us all of the tapped fetches, the fetchable dual lands. That's amazing. Time White. Glint I Nephilim, Atla Palani, Maelstrom Nexus, Chromaticor, Okachi, Zaxara, Aluna. Wow, what do they do? Just slam this deck full of um, commanders? I'm glad there was an extra Maelstrom Archangel because my, my only one currently is the commander for my five color angel deck. Yes, I know it's not a legal commander. I play at my kitchen table. Nethroi, Apex of Death. Rian, Angel of Rebirth. 
Serec Dragon Claw. Zixthrus, the Writhing Storm. Got Abundant Grove for some ramp. An Arcane Signet. Coiling Oracle. Command Tower. Cultivate. Echoing Truth. Evolving Wilds. Explore. Farseek. Commander Sphere. Kadama's Reach. Growth Spiral. Terminate. Prophetic Prism. Search for Tomorrow. Paramorphic Expanse. Some basic lands, and let me make sure. And here is the thick Jared Carthalian in, in almost the etched treatment. And we got some tokens here at the back, but we do have. I really enjoy these on your turn cards for new players. Um, it's nice to have to hand out, you know, help them build their, their first deck, give them a spin down, give them an on your turn, and get them started on, on the right track. And, and some assortment of basic lands, some Kavu tokens, which, uh, by the way, I might save uh, the face commander for a Kavu tribal, some human tokens, and some, oh, they didn't want to fit in there. Humans don't want to go with the Kavu. And some snakes. Well, it's, I know this has been a long video talking about some of the cards I was interested in and hyped up about with the Painbow Dominary United deck. This has been Stewie MTG. We'll catch you later.